having just gotten to LA, I'm not expecting to find you know, the love of my life in the first few days. Yeah, there's a certain level of, of like getting familiar <laughs> with, with the people here that I, I still need to, need to do. <laughs> there's probably a lot that LA has to offer with respect to potential partners. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> we're here, we're alive, we're thriving. <laughs> Didn't have much else going on with the pandemic and such, so I was like, you know what, why not try again? And like, I just wanted to get some advice from my friends first. Venus. Thank you, no pressure here. We have important things to discuss. <laughs> there you go. My favorite sound. I need to get your true and honest opinions on life and Dating. And everything, dating. What do you guys think about me being on the show? When you were like, you said you were doing it, I was like, yes. <laughs> Go for it, Natasha. <laughs> yeah. What do I have to lose, you know? If anything, like, yeah, maybe I go on a bad date. What's, you know, whatever. Everyone has plenty of those, but it could also just be a fun date, you know? Yes. Um, How are you supposed to know if you don't go on the date? Exactly. Okay, walk us through Shant one more time so we just... Have a nice refresh real quick. <laughs> it was interesting. It was fun. Like, I'm glad I did it. It was different. Um, unconventional, obviously. I met his dad and his friend before I met him. And then <laughs> after that meeting, <laughs> that's when, you know, the FBI work <laughs> started help with you. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. But I'm glad I controlled myself and, like, said, you know what? This is the information I will give you. You find whatever you want. Just don't tell me about it. Which and we I, didn't. Yeah. Yeah, because I know you were like, once you heard the age, you were like ready to run. But we were like, no, no. It's yeah. Like, I, she had a very, when we talked, you were so very positive. Yeah. You were not like, no, no, she I was. can't do this. You were very much like, you know what? I'm still open to it. Like, mm -hmm. you never know. I still like gave it a chance and like, experienced the experience and was present for it. But yeah, ultimately just didn't see like a romantic connection with him. And I mean, I was honest about that too. And I think that's how everyone should approach dating. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, after that, I was kind of like, all right, well, it didn't work out. That's fine. Like this was still a fun experience. I think if anything, it made me even more ready to date because I hadn't really for the last year. I think that's why I was down to come back when the crew reached out and I was like, a little bit for the slightest second hesitant at first but after that i was like i said i'm ready to date more so yeah <laughs> what better to date right than now ready to like go. The, the opportunity is literally presenting itself to yeah. me on a silver platter not to put you on the spot <laughs> <laughs> but, but i'm gonna put you on the spot okay <laughs> but like why is age a big factor um i think it's not the age itself necessarily, but just like the way someone carries themselves and level of maturity. And I feel like that naturally comes with age. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, what about you, Miss Wifey? I know the past uh, <laughs> four or five years have yeah. been a little different for you yeah. because <laughs> you're in a long-term relationship and then you got engaged and now you're married. I just, I don't know. I feel like every year it's just been a different like period in our life but you don't i like never went into it thinking like is this gonna be it like is he the one especially because he's not armenian you mm -hmm. know so there was always that like what is my family gonna think mm -hmm. so i see both sides i see why someone would want to marry an armenian and i see why someone is open to someone who's maybe not armenian but after going through the 44-day Artsakh war and everything, like, I felt a stronger connection. And I realized, like, I want my future kids to go to an Armenian school. It made me realize that I do need to hold on to our culture. Mm -hmm. um, not in the sense that I need to marry an Armenian to do that. But with that being said, he is someone who loves my culture, respects my culture. He does, like, 
homework and he writes Armenian <laughs> and he texts me in Armenian. Like, I don't even have the Armenian alphabet on my phone and he does. He does. <laughs> like, he's someone who seriously loves, respects, and pro- knows my history more than I do. And so I seriously appreciate that about him. Okay, so how are you feeling now going into the, this next, the next one? <laughs> yeah, I'm like a little bit of everything. I'm like, I'm excited, nervous, anxious, like... I feel like it will be a different experience. I'm hopeful that it works out and I'm, yeah, I guess I'm excited to, to meet him. So we have so, to say? Yes. There we go. <laughs> Cheers to being yes women. Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. I brought you flowers virtually. <laughs> I mean, I was very surprised when I met met Ari's family. I was not expecting a Zoom call. What's your name? Natasha. Natasha. Nice Natasha. to meet you, Natasha. Nice to I'm meet Ari's you. mom. Well, it's nice to meet you guys. This is a little different. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a virtual, but um, I assume that means you guys aren't from here. So where where is everyone from? Well, I'm I'm. Um, home <laughs> in San Jose, okay. where I was, where Ari uh, was living before this whole school thing started. But got it, got it. Yes. What what school thing? <laughs> uh, he's been my roommate for the past four years. We went to med school together um, okay. in St. Louis. He is starting his residency at USC for internal medicine. I mean, I'm more curious what you want to know. Like, what are like the first two or three things you want to know about a person? Yeah. I don't want to start volunteering information about the guy. (laughs) I I want to learn more about you by you asking questions about him. How do you guys feel about him like being on the show? Like, how did he tell you about it? Or were you guys the ones that um, told him to go on the show? Someone saw his face on the internet and was like, yeah, yeah. Bring him on. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I have to say something. I feel kind of out of place here because, you know, these are his friends, his cousin, and I'm like the mom. <laughs> and I'm only doing this because Adi asked me to do it. As a good Armenian mom, I do everything <laughs> my kids ask me to do. So I think this whole thing is intriguing. So if they like someone, I like that person because I have confidence in my kids and I have confidence in their judgment. I totally get it. I'm sure they made you come on the show. <laughs> but um, but I love that that outlook that you have on on the situation and, and I respect that. Thank you for being here. And I hope that we don't make you feel out of place at all because I do want to hear no. like your input on things too. Um, what does your family yeah. think about you being doing this thing? They're kind of on the same page as you. Like they're always supportive of of whatever I do. So I think like it just took them a bit to get like used to the to me being on the show but um but yeah i guess like tell me what he's like like what does he like to do for fun and i'll get more details from him too tomorrow i'm sure but Ari's a he does pcp <laughs> <laughs> all right then no <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> okay this is giving me a vibe of what he's like already so funny and sarcastic <laughs> Needless to say, he and his friends do have a sense of humor. Yes, so. <laughs> we like that. That's we important. We get past that one. But that not is- when we're operating on human bodies. <laughs> <laughs> we take that very seriously. <laughs> so I, I, I have a lot of hobbies, but the one that I would potentially pursue is making charcuterie boards, which I feel like is so common now, but starting a business for that, because I, I love doing it. I do it for like every... Um, family gathering we have, every like friend group gathering we have. That's like a potential, but I don't know if, if I'm ready for that just yet. It's an well, option. I don't think Ari makes charcuterie boards, <laughs> but I know he would love to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he loves to try new things and he loves athletics, yeah. hobbies, mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. If he doesn't put together char- charcuterie board, he will... <laughs> Do something else. You'll eat one. (laughs) That's fine. That's fine. And yeah, I think that's really important because I feel like that's part of dating too is you're like experiencing things that someone else likes and like opening up yourself to those experiences and like, you know, kind of stepping out of your comfort zone maybe for certain things and and exploring different areas of life that maybe you wouldn't necessarily. Adi wants or I want for him to be with someone who 
has a similar culture. It's not like being with an Armenian is like a prerequisite, mm-hmm. but it just kind of checks off some of the boxes Absolutely. with that, where you have you understand one another, you have the same kind of thinking, you know, with your family. Yeah. Um, so. That's awesome. Well, it was really nice meeting all of you, and hopefully I can meet you in person one day. <laughs> I'm looking forward to my date with Ari tomorrow and learning more about him and also you guys too. <laughs> all right. Nice to meet you. Nice yes, to meet likewise. You. All right, bye. <laughs>
I've always lived in the same same home in San Jose, mm-hmm. so I feel like there's definitely like a sense of you know, stability in like my hometown. And then I lived in St. Louis for med school, mm-hmm. and that was really fun. I could talk about like St. Louis <laughs> forever because it's like, in my opinion, a highly underrated city. Really? Just, I want to say there's so much to do there, but like I'm speaking to somebody from LA and I've yeah. never lived here. I mean, I've wanted to go there too. I've never been, but I could see how You've it could be. Wanted to go to St. Louis? Yeah, I, there's a lot of places I want to go to. Okay. In a, in the U.S., outside of cool. the U.S. I mean, I've, I've done both, but there's yeah. still a lot on the list that needs to be checked off. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do you speak Armenian? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How I did you learn? From Just from home. Okay. And then we, so we went to Armenian school on Fridays. Oh, uh, got it. We had like, you know, like, uh, like my aunt was a teacher, friends, parents teach. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, the community kind of like brings up their own. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> do you speak Western or Eastern Armenian? Eastern. Eastern. So I'm I'm Barstahai. So like my oh, parents cool. were both born in Iran and they came here um, right before they went to college. Nice. And your dad is from Holland. Wow, you know so much about. I it. I, I learned it all wow. on that on the, yesterday. Yeah. But um but yeah I tried to retain as much as possible. <laughs> but I mean I want to hear it from you too. So like. Yeah, where, where did your parents Yeah, no, from? yeah, well, I might as well just leave, you know, yeah, everything about Yeah, pretend they already, don't know like, everything. Yeah. yeah, my dad's from Aleppo. Okay. Mom's from, well, like, her side of the family's from Egypt. She mm-hmm. was born, like, in uh, in the States, in Palo Alto. I really definitely feel, like, the, the influence of, like, Aleppo's Armenian culture, you mm-hmm. know, like, that kind of fusion of, like, whatever Armenians there experienced. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of, like, my brand, my flavor of, like, the Armenian experience that I grew up with, and I love it. Cool, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so let's pour the wine. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you a wine drinker? Do you um, like wine? Yeah, I'll drink wine. I'm not like much of a. I know what I'm supposed to do to like taste it. You know, like smell it. You're not look supposed at the legs, to do whatever. anything. You do whatever oh, really? you want. So I mean, teach me. It sounds like you know. I don't. I'm not a snob about it at all. I just know what I like. Like I know the types of wine I like. I guess like intensity that yeah. I like. But I don't. I don't know, like, what kind of barrel it was made in. I can smell it from um, here, yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. sure you can. <laughs> Maybe this is an oak, oak. barrel. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we all have something. <laughs> no, I played, I used to play the Duduk. Really? Yeah. So how do you feel about our poor Jivan Gaspari on it's, Passing Away? It's heartbreaking. Cultural icon. But I, so I used to play, and I used to play with my cousin. Like, my cousin was the actual, because he came from Armenia, and that dude knows how to play. So anyway, I, I accompanied him on the on the Armenian channel, and I was like... Were you donating money to Armenia Telefund? No, that doesn't count either. <laughs> I think I've done that too, maybe. I feel like we all have at some point. I was the guy that like, holds the note. I didn't play anything. It's like, Ooh. And then he was like, doing all the crazy stuff. Well, yeah, I really might hard. want to hear it at some point. I'm not playing it. Okay. It's really hard, actually. I have a suggestion. Mm-hmm. Next time you take a bath, you know, play the duduk and just cry or something. Because every time I hear the duduk, I'm like... I know him. And the songs I know are like sad songs. Mm-hmm. That's good. And I'm assuming because you're an Armenian girl that grew up in Southern California, you either did ballet, piano, or if I do like a third thing all Armenian girls do. Is it, well, did I get the ballet or piano thing right? Nope. Gymnastics? Nope. Oh. I did volleyball. Oh. Mm-hmm. You went the non-traditional route. I, I mean, has that not been proven clear to you already oh. that I am not the traditional Armenian? Crystal. <laughs> but I don't see myself like that. And I think I've gotten a little too comfortable being single, yeah. um, which is why I'm like, mm, I don't want to put myself out there. Like, I'm good. I got me. I'd be okay if that panned out. But my preference would be to you know, get married and have kids. The only time I've ever felt like where it would be nice to have a, a spouse, mm-hmm. as opposed to like a friend or something like that, is... So, so my grandma just recently passed away. Mm-hmm. But grandma and grandpa, they're about the same age. Mm-hmm. And toward the end of their life, it was kind of cute because like they would like take care of each other, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I guess that can happen with like a life partner or something. Right, yeah, yeah, true. I so, mean, I have thought of that actually, that same kind of scenario multiple yeah. times. Like, I don't necessarily want to like be old and sick But you got name. time, you got time. You got like- I have you, pl- plenty of years. For me, a life partner, ultimately comes down to companionship. It's someone who really is your best friend. You enjoy spending time with them. You know, I've been very vocal about feeling very whole in who I am and being with someone who knows that about themselves as well and wants to share their whole self with me. 
How, why haven't you finished your food? Didn't you like it? I loved it, but I was just more engaged in the conversation. Oh, you just loved the conversation so much. That I distracted you. I was the conversation. <laughs> Lovely. Um, I would like to explore further, go out on another date, and another date, and another date, and then maybe one day he can make me some of this himself at his own place, or I can do it. It made it clear to me that it wasn't just like first date jitters, and I did actually feel a connection, and I felt it again today, and I'd like to feel it again <laughs> at some point. So, yeah, I, I would really be interested in going out with him again. During COVID, I tried to cook more Armenian food. Mm. I got a cookbook. An Armenian cookbook? Mm -hmm. Okay, what have or you two. made from there? Mahamara. I love that. Really? I love Mahamara. It's so good. I think I made a really good one. Credit to like the author of the, <laughs> the recipe. Right? You're yeah. like, I just followed it. Oh, so I tried to do sini kifte, you know? Yes and no. Yeah. So like on Barskahai, there's a lot of like- Yeah, that's why I asked, you know? <laughs> Western Armenian <laughs> foods that I don't know of. Like there's a lot that I do know of because like almost all of, like half of my group of girlfriends are not Barskahai. So like yeah. I, I know it from them, but I don't know all of them. So like what are, I guess like, certain things that you look for in someone or like what in your dating experience? Yeah, I think, um, so family oriented is really important to me. Somebody like personality wise who is easygoing and laid back and just kind of has a, an adventurous spirit and approaches life with kind of an optimistic, fun loving attitude. Um, that's the kind of person I think I get along with the most, something like that. Cool. Ideally, but I'm a very like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like, you know, the world, there's many different types of people For sure. and there's a lot of beauty in like, you know, in a variety of places and people. So mm -hmm. yeah, you got to take things as they come. For sure. And people as they come. So. Yes. And I feel like what is on paper is like obviously different in person and like yeah. overall, like that person just has to be like a genuine person who's like honest and like yeah. puts an equal effort as you do. Um, to whatever relationship you have together um, and like respects you and that relationship. Having that, that love for exploring new cultures and places is really important. Natasha really seemed to embody, like to really take that to heart. I think just like the energy overall was very fun and lighthearted and like personable. Yeah, I, I just like the way she held herself in the conversation as well. It was like, she seemed like somebody who's, you know, very confident in herself, good energy. Um, I think he really did hold all the values that especially his mom was saying true to heart. And that was like definitely apparent in like the things that he was saying or the questions he was asking me. Think you could bring him to Wine Wednesdays? <laughs> Wine Wednesdays are for girls, <laughs> for girls night. Um, but you know, if significant others were ever to be involved, then yes, I have to educate him a little bit more on wine. It was nice to have wine instead of a, a cocktail to have to figure out how to, to put together. <laughs> um, I think I poured it pretty well. How can you not enjoy like sitting, relaxing with a glass of wine with, uh, with like such a lovely girl and think like there's gotta be, there's, you gotta find out more. I think I would go on a second date with him.